Now what I'm gonna do is I've got my circle where the hole is gonna be cut, but I'm gonna mark this one about one inch bigger because that's how I do my hole. Now, normally I don't put these over. This has got a rafter running right down through the middle of it. Normally I would offset it off of a rafter, but this one is more aesthetically pleasing in the center. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a stop sign shaped hole right here. I cut this out an inch bigger is when you set that on here you have clearance all the way around it. So this is the base for our turbine vent and I've strategically set this to a height where the shingles are going to work out so I don't have to worry about a gap this being too short for a gap. It'll have roofing under it. And I'll show you what I mean. The next row will fill that in right here. You see how it's, it's not in front of the hole. It don't do no good to cut out the hole if you're going to cover it up. You good? not rubbing and this thing is pulling the air at the warm air out of the attic right now so this one I'm gonna call this one done absolutely perfect 